If you're looking for a little inspiration in the new year or even a good thrill, you can get both with one local author, and she's here. Caroline Klug is here. Good morning, Caroline. Good How morning. are you? I'm fantastic. I'm here. I mean, you're a, you're, a, you're a published author. How many books do you have in published right now? I have four, and I was so excited to see you guys, yeah. I forgot them. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. We're going to take a, a yeah. shot of, the, of okay. your website, so that's all right. Okay. Because we do want to show people. I mean, what we were talking with you about, you write such... Like diverse books. I do. So, talk about the two main genres that you write. Yes. So, I write inspirational fiction thrillers, and really that's meant to give people a thrill. Um, anybody can read it, but it also leaves you with something meaningful, a meaningful message. Um, love scary movies and thrillers, started as a kid, so I just wanted to figure out a way to turn that into something that um, wasn't so dark, but you know, would leave you with something meaningful. And the other thing I write are nonfiction Christian living books. And those are really born out of my own personal experiences, my faith, um, just really tying the two together and, and showing people what's out there. So that's yeah. really diverse. Now, yeah. looking at that cover of Stolen, I just yeah. want to buy that. Excellent. Tell me, tell me about <laughs> the story of Stolen just a little bit. Yep. So it, it's really about a teenage runaway who gets abducted off the streets by a serial killer. So she gets mixed up in some things, you know, drug use, some things that, uh, you know, mm -hmm. she shouldn't be mixed up in. And it's really about her journey through that. Um, the book is actually an allegory. So anybody can pick it up and read it. But it's an allegory about redemption. And if you're so inclined and you want to dig a little deeper, there's actually a, a seven-session study guide that goes along with it that will dig into the allegory a little bit. Um, but it weaves some stories together, and there's actually a twist in there. Big fan of twists, so you know that you may think you figure it out when you're reading it, but you won't. Oh, oh, like it. All right, and you know your love of this kind of came. You were saying when you were little, you found oh, out yeah. your, your brother yeah. Stephen King books. Yes. You know, <laughs> but I mean, I this is the first time I've really heard about. A thriller with, I guess, like a faith punch, yes. you know, at the end. Yes. Why was it important for you to intertwine those things? Because, um, you know, as a Christian, I find it really hard sometimes to navigate that world of scary movies and things. It leaves you kind of dark. And, you know, but yet I had to have this love for a reason. So I figured, mm. how can I give people a thrill and still leave them with something meaningful that doesn't make them feel like they're reading something they shouldn't read? Uh, yeah. Now, you've got a book fair event coming up at Barnes & Noble on January 28th. Tell me about that. Very excited. So Barnes & Noble will actually be launching my newest book that's called Tell Them. That's one of the nonfiction Christian living mm -hmm. books. And um, that is meaningful enough to me. But in addition, I'll be partnering with the Green Bay Habitat for Humanity. And what that means is um, a, pro a percentage of all the proceeds of the sales across the entire store. Not just your book, but we want people to buy your book, yes, but yes, everything. Yes, everything. <laughs> so if you stop in that night between 6.30 and 8.30 p.m., come see me, say hi, get free cupcakes, and you will also be helping to support this fantastic organization mm -hmm. that gives so much to the yep. community. I'm so excited to be partnering with them. They put that toward their 2020 Faith Build. So that's when they partner yep. with local um, churches and faith-based organizations, mm -hmm. and they raise money for a specific build. And if they raise $70,000, Thrive and Financial is actually going to kick in the other 70. Awesome. <gasps> yeah. Yes. There's a house right there. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> CarolineKlug.com. If you'd like to look up her books, get the books. Otherwise, head on down to Barnes & Noble in the Green Bay area on the 28th. Thank you so much for this discussion. Thank you. I appreciate you having Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Bring my book next time. I will. Oh, okay. <laughs>